Hi, this is Mr. Evans. This video is going to look at a 12 mark question in paper two. The question is analyze using two financial ratios, the financial constraints faced by KMH PLC in attempting to fund the new strategy. You'll know if you've read the case study that KMH are attempting to raise finance to fund a new strategy. This question says using two financial ratios, what are the constraints that they're going to face? Okay. Why are they going to find it difficult to raise funding? Well, to answer this question, you need to know um, about how businesses can raise uh, funding. And essentially, there's two ways of raising funding. There's debt finance, where you borrow money predominantly from a bank, or you can do equity finance, where you would sell off shares. You issue new shares in the company, KMH or a PLC. So that option of selling shares is open to them. Selling new shares is, is you know, relatively easy as an option for them. They're already a PLC. So that's what my two paragraphs are going to be about. Now, if I've, uh, if I've read the case study carefully and I've turned over to the back page, so that's a really important thing. Um, in paper three, there are um, two pages of information, but I've heard lots of students say, oh, I didn't realize there was stuff on the on the back page absolutely essential things on the back page to help you answer all of the questions. Now, I know because I've, I've, I've revised and I know my business studies that um, if a company is going to use debt finance and borrow from a bank, well, what's the bank want, going to want to know? They're going to want to know if the money can be paid back. What's a useful ratio I can use? Gearing. And here is the information I can use to calculate. Um, KMH is gearing. Um, what else? What what would determine? So if they're going to use equity finance, what are new shareholders going to want to know? Essentially, they're going to want to know how profitable an organisation is, and I can use the ratio of the uh, operating profit margin using the information here. So um, the question is using two financial ratios. Um, analyze the financial constraints okay so you might just want to use this data here to try and uh, at least plan how you would answer the question and then we can have a look at my plan so maybe pause the video here uh, do the calculations and think about how you would answer the question um, here's my answer um, so uh, as I said, there's two predominant ways that we can um, raise funding. One of them is to borrow money. So this first paragraph here is going to be about borrowing money and gearing. So how do I start off? I've defined what gearing is, explained it to the examiner. There are AO1 marks available in these 12 mark questions. So um, I'll explain what gearing is. Higher levels of debt tend to be associated with higher levels of risk. KMH is gearing increased from 56% in 2015 to 64.5% in 2016. It's good to use um, uh, both years so you can see which way the debt is trending. And, you know, you can see that this is not good. They've gone from being a highly debted highly uh, indebted company to being even more so in 2016. They would be considered to be highly geared, which means they may face difficulties if they attempt to borrow more money to fund the new strategy. This is because bank managers may be reluctant to lend them the 50 million investment required. This is because, uh, this is because, sorry, KMH may struggle to pay them back, affecting the organization's cash flow and jeopardizing their future. All right, it's quite simple really, just calculate the gearing, explain the trend in gearing. What does that mean? Well, um, bank managers are going to be reluctant to lend them the money because they might not be able to pay them back. All right, so there's just a very simple chain of argument that comes from an accurate calculation of the gearing. In terms of the operating profit, um, how are we going to use that? Well, remember, I wanted to use the operating profit margin to explain why there might be a financial constraint around selling more shares. The operating profit margin is a measure of the efficiency by which an organization turns revenue into operating profit. Um, okay, so it's considered a good measure of the profitability of any company. So I explained what it is. Their profit has fallen each year 
um, and I've explained the trend, um, their operating profit margin, I should say, um, has fallen in each year. The fall in operating profit margin indicates that uh, business is struggling to control its costs. Uh, when that's combined with the profit warnings, it indicates that for potential shareholders may worry about the return they would earn on their investment. As this would be a major concern, they might find it difficult to fund the new strategy by selling shares. So I tried to, to make sure that I'm clearly focused on the question in both paragraphs that there's a financial constraint around borrowing more money because of the gearing, and there's a financial constraint around issuing new shares because of the company's profitability and I've calculated and used two financial ratios to um, uh, demonstrate that across these two paragraphs which should be enough to get me in the top band uh, 11 or 12 marks.